This is the Project Gemini Update, your source for all things Project Gemini. Brought to you by Riffical Records. And here's your host, Mark Anthony Kay. Greetings, folks, and welcome to episode 216 of the Project Gemini Update. So, I'm back. It's been four or five days. Today is April 22nd. Um, Before I get started with the main bit of news, uh, I first wanted to thank everybody who has been putting their orders in for the vinyl pressing of the album What's On Your Mind. Uh, It's been going extremely well. Um, I think I'm down to under 30 copies left. Um, If you don't have a copy of this record, uh, I would highly suggest to grab a copy sooner than later because uh, I think that I'll probably be out of this record within the next month or two, Um, which has been really quick. Usually it takes me, uh, you know, usually it it could take six months. I mean, there's usually a flood at the beginning of sales. And then after that, you know, one or two a week and then maybe one or two every once in a while. And then usually within, you know, six months or so, the full thing is sold, which is pretty good. Um, What else was I going to say? Yeah, today uh, I got a message uh, from Train Records. Uh, They told me that I should expect a delivery and the delivery came today. So here in my hands is the completed finished CD of What's On Your Mind on CD. Uh, This is a obviously a sealed copy of it. I have my own copy here that I just opened a few minutes ago uh, that we'll take a look at together and you can see what you're going to get on this with this, uh, you know, CD release. So here is the album cover. Turned out fantastic on here. You have the spine up there, which has, you know, the name of the album, Project Gemini as well on there, the usual sort of stuff. Here's the back cover, fantastically done by Mr. Jason Pollan. Special thanks to our executive producers on the record, which are Preston Frazier and Paul Tomei. Now you op- let's open the digipack. So here's the first thing which you get when you open. There's a quote of some of my lyrics with an image. Then you have a, what's on your mind here, a nice image of that. You open it up one more time. There's some images of me and another quote from one of my lyrics. And there's the CD. I think the CD turned out really nice. I love the way that turned out. Thanks again to Jason for that. Uh, when you take the CD out, you have more, you have the extended part of the whole album cover underneath there. Cause you can't fit it all. So it just gets expanded onto the underneath the CD holder there it looks I think it's I think it's really a good idea that they laid it out like that uh, I really like how that looks again here's the CD for you uh, the CD sounds fantastic like I said before in earlier uh, updates I'm extremely extremely happy with the audio of this album, the final mix and master of this turned out fantastic. Uh, the, the the CD version of it is really, really well done. It sounds fantastic. It's nice and punchy and, you know, very clear, good sound stage. Everything on it sounds really great. Uh, here's the booklet that comes with it. Here you have the front. What's on your mind? Here's the back of it, which has the song titles on there and just some of the basic information on there. And I really love the way Jason did the layout for this. You got the lyrics. Next page. And and, th- and then this is what I was talking about earlier, but I was saying that I really like the way he did some of this layout in here. I love what he did with the discography on this, how it's the ever growing catalog of Project Gemini stuff is here. Can't believe it. Eight albums, people. Eight albums were on. And on the last page, we have uh, the special thank yous and the equipment list and the extra special thank yous there. Uh, Again, I really think that this turned out really fantastically well. I'm so happy 
with this uh, and the way it turned out. Uh, if you haven't ordered a copy of the CD, I, I would recommend getting a copy. It sounds fantastic. Uh, if you're like me, I do a lot of my listening in the car uh, because, you know, I'm out and about doing things and, you know, whether it's getting groceries or just whatever, you're in your car probably often. And uh, having a copy for the car might be a good thing. And it sounds fantastic. Like I said, I'm very happy with the CD version of this album. It turned out really, really good. I, 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 I did take a little extra time to make sure that the, the master was really good for the CD release of it. Um... So there you go. the The CD is here. Um, I will start setting. I will start packing them up on Wednesday tomorrow. I have a really busy day. I have to go down to Toronto for a little while, uh, so I will not be able to do much packing tonight or tomorrow. But uh, I will start packing them on Wednesday and start shipping them out. Hopefully by you know Wednesday at evening, Thursday morning, and they, they start expecting them. Especially you Canadian people, because uh, actually surprisingly, I have quite a few Canadian people that ordered the CD as well. Uh, start expecting them in your mailbox sooner than later. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy they're here. You know, another record on CD is with us now. Uh, good news as well. Uh, the the pro the progress on the vinyl is going very well. The V number, which I have to get from the from the uh, pressing plant, was sent over to um, to Kevin who does the lacquer cut, he's doing the final lacquer cut of it now. The, the acetate, the test acetate that he sent me turned out fantastic. As you know, I talked about it already in an update. So that's all done. Uh, the progress for the vinyl is going ahead of schedule. Uh, and remember, I said I was I wanted to have the CD done by April. And it's April 22nd. We are on schedule. And by the looks of it, it looks like we'll have the, the album done before the summer. So that's fantastic because that means that I'll be on on track to get another record out to you guys hopefully by the end of summer maybe the middle of summer who knows uh when when I'll start talking about that but uh let's just worry about the <laughs> getting this vinyl done first but I have no worries that everything is great the artwork turned out great everything is submitted oh, the, the lacquer is going to be just done now if he got the v number for it so he's doing all that and he's putting in my little special message in the dead wax too for me. Uh, so everything's going great. I'm really happy with the way things are going right now. And uh, I'll just leave it at that for now. There's more information that will be coming up soon. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure there'll be more updates coming very soon because uh, a few more things I got to talk about and show. Of course, when I get the album covers that I have to sign and number, I will show you them once I get them in my hands again. So more exciting stuff to come in the near future and uh, also there will be an update uh, video coming probably near the end of this month uh, to show some equipment update that I'm going to be I'm going to be doing in a, in a, uh, like a studio gear equipment update uh, some exciting stuff to talk about well it's exciting for me and I'm sure it'll be exciting for you because whenever I update my gear it usually means for a step forward for the sound overall so uh, let's just leave it at that uh, Thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Um, every subscriber helps get it in front of more people. The, you know, the algorithm, uh, once they see that there's more people subscribing, then they usually, you know, push the videos out a little bit more than they normally do. Okay, so I'll leave it at that for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.